Hi, I'm Mike with House on the Mend, and in this video I'm going to show you how simple it is to tighten one of these loose cylinder locks, commonly found on commercial doors and gates just like this. So let's zoom in and get started. If you break it, he will fix it. If you buy it, he will build it. House on the Mend. So is this happening to you? You put the key in this cylinder that's loose and you're trying to work the door lock and it's not working unless you turn it right down to there and then you can't get the key out. What a hassle. You got to get the cylinder lock right there so it'll come out, right? And if you've been dealing with this for a while, there's a very easy fix. It's only going to take two tools and a little secret ingredient. So let's get right to it. First, these three screw holes take off this cover plate. We want to get into that cover plate. One, two, three. All right. This little cover plate comes right off. And this little guy right here is our culprit. This is a set screw that holds uh, this cylinder in place. Here's our cylinder removed. And if you look right here, you can see the notch where this set screw holds the cylinder in place. You put it in with these threads here and it simply screws into place just like this. But if you get it all the way tight, it's way off to one side. You have to have it to work properly coming right down like that. And that's where that notch coming through comes into play. All you need to do is take a small screwdriver, like the one I have for my house on the men kit here, put it right into that uh, flathead notch and tighten it down. And that will, as I show you right here, and that will tighten it. Now you could stop right there, put the plate back on, but let's see if we can't do a little bit of preventative maintenance. I'm going to back this screw out just a, about half of the way so some threads are visible and I'm also going to back this guy out on this side at the same time since we're already in here. Now here comes the secret ingredient, fingernail polish. I grabbed this one from the bathroom and judging by that baby poop color, I think I'm going to be pretty safe in using this one. These threads here are metal against metal, and as the gate vibrates and as it's moved back and forth, back and forth, they tend to come loose. So all you have to do to prevent that from happening is take a little bit of nail polish and just touch it right to those threads. Let's do both sides there. Now we can tighten these set screws back down and when the nail polish drives, it'll prevent those two set screws from backing out. Now, nail polish is a lot easier to break free than Loctite. These are such tiny little set screws, I'd be afraid if I use Loctite that I could strip them out. All right, let's do a little test here. Yeah, nice and tight, straight down, just where we want it. Let's put our cover plate back on, put our little Phillips screws right back in place. Leave them a little bit loose at first till we get all three in there and then we can come back and just hand tighten them. Good and tight, nice and flush. Now let's give it another test. Much better. Comes out easily, actuates easily. Well now you know the steps it takes to quickly fix one of these loose cylinder locks. You can be the hero of your office or your home. You can do this. Word of caution to the guys out there, however, make sure you get permission before you go rummaging through the nail polish colors and get the one she doesn't care for. If you found this video helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps the YouTube algorithm to start suggesting it to more people. Until next time, thank you for watching. Oh man, he fixed it. That makes me want to break into song. Thank you.